about guys, look over there. This is a blue spotted ray. Blue spotted rays are distributed in tropical waters, at a depth of 30 meters, ranging from the Indian Ocean to South Africa, from the Arabian Peninsula to Southeast Asia, including Madagascar, Mauritius, Zanzibar, Sizalensa, Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Rarely found in the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. This is Gernard fish. Even though they are small and often targeted by larger predatory fish, this doesn't mean that Gernard flying fish only eat algae or plankton. This fish is actually classified as a predator. Primarily, they will look for prey around coral or sandy seabed. The main food of the Gernard flying fish is crustaceans, small fish, and various types of shellfish. There is spotted eagle ray. The spotted eagle ray has a flat disc shape, with a blue or black color with white spots on top and a white lower body, and a distinctive deep snout like a duck's beak. The tail is longer than other rays and may have two to six venomous spines. The pectoral. This is blue whale. Even though they are considered the largest animals on earth, it turns out that blue whales don't have teeth. But it has baleen. Baleen itself is a kind of fiber that functions to filter food. When a blue whale eats, it will take in as much water as possible, then the food will get caught in the baleen fibers before being swallowed. This is a crayfish. Each animal certainly has its own way of protecting itself from enemy attacks or in situations of danger. Well, crayfish will usually release their shells when they are in an emergency and are threatened. But don't worry, because the shells they shed can grow back during the molting period. There is crab! So far you may have seen that several types of animals communicate with each other using their voices. However, crabs communicate by rubbing various parts of their body, including their claws. This activity can actually produce certain sounds which are believed to be a communication technique between crabs and each other. This is Gulper Eel. Gulper Eels are oval in shape with long, whip-like tails. This eel can grow up to 100 centimeters in size. On the head there are very small eyes. Even though there is no sunlight in their habitat, the function of the eel's eyes is believed to be the result of evolution to detect dim light. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish have luminous organs that emit light or are known as bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the body's ability to produce light. This light is green and blue. Crystal jellyfish are a type of jellyfish that have bioluminescent abilities. This light is a chemical reaction of proteins produced by the jellyfish's body with seawater. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! There is lobster! Lobsters have a hard exoskeleton, or shell, that does not grow with them. To grow, they undergo a process called molting, where they shed their old shell and form a new, larger shell. During the skin changing process, lobsters are at their most vulnerable phase to attack by predators. This is ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction, to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. This is mouth bass. All types of largemouth bass come in unique colors and patterns. Typically, all species of this fish have a similar green color with horizontal spots. Largemouth snapper is famous for its bright green color and horizontal spots on both sides and has a white underbelly. This is a moray eel. Several types of moray eels have very beautiful body colors. The colors and patterns on the moray eel's body vary greatly depending on the type. Many marine aquarium lovers use this eel as an addition to their aquarium collection. 
Several tourist attractions have collections of various types of beautiful moray eels. This is squid. Squids have the extraordinary ability to change the color and pattern of their bodies. This is not only for the attractive appearance, but also as a form of communication with other squid. These color changes can include pattern shape, color intensity, and can even be used for camouflage. This is boxed fish. This boxed fish also contains high protein and low fat. The protein in sea fish is known to be very good for treating digestive problems because it can be absorbed by the intestines more easily. This is because the protein in fish contains fiber which can improve the performance of the small intestine. There is a clown fish. This clown fish has a layer of mucus covering its entire body. This mucus layer is said to protect clownfish from various poisons that have the potential to threaten their lives. This is also the reason why clownfish can have a symbiotic mutualistic relationship with sea anemones. Sea anemones are actually not dangerous, but there are several types of sea anemones that are poisonous. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! This is a Decapodiformer! Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is Dolphin! Some researchers have found that dolphins have the longest memories of any species, apart from humans. A study revealed that dolphins can recognize the voices of their close friends, even after being separated for 20 years. A number of scientists have concluded that this extraordinary memory can be linked to the evolution of social relationships among dolphins. Wow, this is starfish! In several cities, including Beijing, Chinese street vendors sell sushi made from starfish. Some people like starfish but others don't. Some think that it tastes like river crab or sea urchin but there are also those who claim it tastes like nothing at all. There is an octopus! Octopuses live in oceans all over the world. Some octopuses live near the surface of the water in shells, reefs and crevices. Some species live on the ocean floor. Octopuses tend to be solitary, although they sometimes interact with other octopuses. There is a puffer fish! Because puffer fish move slowly and are brightly colored, other predators can easily eat them. To overcome this, puffer fish will inflate themselves by taking air from their stomachs three times larger than their body size and protruding their spines so that they do not become food for predators. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs have five pairs of legs or a total of ten legs. Uniquely, these feet have their respective functions. The largest pair of legs is used for pinching and grabbing food. The second and third pairs of legs are used for walking. The fourth pair is used for getting in and out of the shell. And the fifth pair of legs is used to clean and remove dirt from the shell. This is Garfish. Alligator fish are large fish with flexible armor consisting of ganoid scales. These scales contain a thin layer of ganoin and a bony body with serrated edges that provide effective protection against predators. Throughout history, this fish has also been a game fish for sport fishing and can also be kept as an aquarium fish. Thank you for watching guys.